Deputy Minister uh, of, uh, of uh, Land and Corp Minister of Land and Cooperatives, Tan, Dr. Tan, Dr. Tan, Dr. Tan Ki Kuang, who was also the MP for Sigambur, who made two very serious allegations against Felda and the Prime Minister. First, he said that Felda's cash reserve, Felda's cash reserve. Uh, declined by 200 million from 4.5 billion in 2004. Uh, that means when to 2000, in 2004 they had 4.5 billion ringgit cash reserves, but today they only have 200 billion. Uh, this is a huge loss of funds, though, huge loss of funds. And the second point that he noted was that uh, Felda had actually uh, is now building a five-star office, five-star office next to the Singapore High Commission at a cost of 600 uh, million ringgit. And this far, they have already paid 230 million, which is 40%, without any building coming up, without any structure coming up. So therefore, uh, the question is, how are you giving a company so much of money? And the company that they're giving it to is actually NASA TTDI, uh, which is a famous uh, developer, a construction company linked to AMNO. Uh, and more, the question is, why are you giving so much of money to NASA TDDI when uh, they might collapse tomorrow morning and in two years, two months' time? Uh, this is not the way you do business. Uh, and you give 40% as, uh, as a deposit. That's a lot of money. Uh, and also, the appointment of Muhammad Baki, uh, Mohamed Baki Saleh, was uh, from Ferdinand Group Holdings. And now he's with, uh, been appointed as the CEO of uh, Saim Dhabi. Now, uh, this Muhammad uh, uh, Baki Saleh um, was the CEO of Tabung Haji on October 8, 2001, uh, and he was the uh, member of the Pilgrimage Fund Investment Advisory Panel. And in 2002, Tabung Haji had a major financial scandal of $169 million, uh, and they lost about $165 million in high risk investments. Uh, the point is now, that the same person who was supposed to clean up Saim Dhabi is now also linked with uh, uh, it's also linked with uh, money uh, that has been lost by Allah. So are we appointing people who are really quite uh, uh, inefficient to lead uh, uh, Saim Dhabi with a poor track record? But this story actually you can see in the free Malaysia today. It appeared yesterday. And I think it's a very serious issue, uh, given that Sam Dhabi had made losses, uh, which is a GLC government-linked company, and now you have Felda, which is also a government-linked company, also uh, potential irregularity. Uh, and uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, members of the uh, Pakistan Rayat would make a report with MACC on this matter. And actually, we call upon MACC to start an investigation, and tomorrow we will make a report against uh, Felda. Any, any questions? I think the statement is quite straightforward. So the appointment is the prerogative of the company itself, so they can't do anything about it. But the point is, he has actually been uh, linked with a financial scandal. A member of the panel of the, of the, of the company was linked to the uh, involved financial scandal. So therefore, there is an issue here. And uh, the person who is supposed to take over for uh, Sam Dhabi needs to be a person who is above board and a person who knows how to manage enormous amounts of money. Uh, and when he was in the board, uh, uh, Tabung Haji lost 65 million ringgit in high investments, or risky investments. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, I don't think he has. Uh, I don't think he has. But I will invite him uh, to join us tomorrow to make the report. Huh? Uh, about 10, 10.30. But depending on that of the time. But we'll make a report tomorrow.